and welcome to this next video on my channel. Today I'm not going to talk about ERP Next, um, but I decided to make a very short little video about 3D printing. There are people that actually use it, but I think there are some people that just wonder what it's all about. So I thought I'd share a few um, ideas, concepts to make those that always wonder about 3D printing understand a little bit more about what it is. Let's dive right into it. This is my, what my setup looks like. Now, that's the actual printer. There's the material. In this case, it's PLA material. You get different types of material. I'm not going to go into that now. There, it's actually feeding into the um, printer. And there's your SD card that saves your uh, file that you want to print. Now, that's basically what you need. All right. You don't need all these other things. This other th the other things, this is a Raspberry Pi that I use for remote control. I'll show it to you just now. And this Raspberry Pi and that barcode scanner network switch and the screen, that's all part of the ERP management system. It's just, I use it, the printer in a production environment. And this is uh, the ERP management system, which is called ERP Next. It's just there to control the process. Um, if you want to see what ERP Next is all about, there's a whole whack of videos on my channel. Um, I've configured it as a production management system, accounting, stock production, etc. Uh, but you can also configure it to handle your students in your training facility or at school or a clinic, your patients. Ugh, I can't remember all of them, a farm. There's about 10 different ways you can use this. If you're interested, you can go and have a look at the ERP Next videos. But um, I just want to look at the printer, uh, the 3D printer. Uh, what do we actually print with it? I actually use it to print drone parts, prototypes, perhaps some production parts as well, I'll have to see. And then, of course, you can also print stuff for home. If something breaks, you can print it, if you can quickly design it. I actually designed a nice little rack for my network switches and internet switches downstairs. Um, why go and buy it if you can quickly print it? Then, of course, you can make little gifts as well. Okay. Now, the gifts, um, all of these things you can either design or you can get it from a website. Uh, the website, let's quickly show that to you. Uh, there's one of them called Thingiverse. Yara Googled a, a Superman Bust. Now you can get little figures and gifts and a whole bunch of stuff. This is all GPL licensed, so you can print it as long as you don't use it for production environment uh, or to make money from it. So that's what you print and where you get it from. Uh, the process is you design it and then you take it to the slicer and you print it. I'll say, well, I suppose let's first take it from the design side. I use FreeCAD. Lots of people use Fusion 360. There's software that can do it. It really doesn't matter. I just quickly designed this little bar. Okay. And then once you've design, finished your design, you give it to the slicer and you say slice. And there you can see it actually slices it up in little um, layers, 0.16 millimeter apart. You can set that to control the quality so the head first prints the one layer um, fills it all up and then moves the head up 0.16 millimeter and then it prints the next one and so it um, continues all the layers until it's finished so what does it look like when it's printing there it is um, you see the printing from the top you see the head filling in the area um, and then once it's finished with that layer it'll move 0.16 millimeter up. Of course, you won't be able to actually see that looking from the top, but um, that's how it does it. And once it's finished, then you've got your little part, whatever you designed. So I think that's about it. Just a little bit of a introduction of 3D printing. I hope that sheds some light to those that was already always been wondering about it. See you in the next video.